Hello and Merry Christmas. My name is Mark Willis and I'm the pastor for Merriam Christian Church. This is a midweek prayerful meditation that we put out that it might be a blessing to people, that it might be a, a short moment that they can take in the midst of their day to pause, dwell on the Word of God, and remind themselves of God's presence in their lives. This, of course, is the week right before Christmas. Christmas will be upon us in just a couple days. So today I'm going to change just a little. Normally we're reading from the Psalms during these prayerful meditations. But today I wanted to bring some different scripture to you. So let's get ready to hear this scripture by just relaxing for a moment, turning off other distractions, setting down other things that we might be doing right now. And for just a moment, let's turn our attention and our focus completely to God and God's word. Let's prepare to hear this word by centering ourselves taking some nice, slow, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you do this, feel the stress of this Christmas season melt away. Feel it fade into the background all of the responsibilities, the to-do lists. We're just going to set those down for a minute. And instead, we're going to dwell with God. Our reading today, just two days before Christmas, comes to us from the Gospel of Luke. The first chapter, starting in verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing is impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed her. Almighty God, in just a couple of days, we will celebrate once again the coming of Jesus to our lives, the breaking in of the divine into the human, Christ incarnate. Prepare our hearts, open them, make them able to feel your love and your grace and your forgiveness. Open our eyes 
Help them to look around and see the need in this world that we might meet through the power of Christ. Open our spirits that they might be filled anew with the coming of the Christ child. Lord, we are your servants. We are your children. We are your church. Use us to announce to the world that the Christ child has come, that sins are forgiven, that lives are made new. Lord, help us to shout this from the mountaintops, to share it with the shepherds, with the angels, with the wise men. We ask all of this in the name of the Christ who comes to us once again and makes us new. Amen. Whatever this year has been, whatever this month might have been, whatever this week has been, I hope that you are blessed as Christmas comes upon us. I know that things have to be different this year. We aren't able to gather with everyone we want to gather with. Families have lost loved ones this year. But it is still the time of year when we pause and we celebrate the coming of Christ to our lives, the changing of everything. Go forth into this week be blessed, and have a Merry Christmas. Amen.